Antarctica, a vast ice-locked continent larger than the United States and Mexico combined. This is the coldest, windiest, most lifeless place on Earth, first explored by humans just 100 years ago. Today, this vast wilderness has become a giant laboratory for the most important and cutting-edge science on our planet. Landing at the geographical South Pole, the southernmost place on Earth, feels like visiting another planet. Ahead lies the Amundsen-Scott South Pole Station, one of the most sophisticated scientific research facilities ever built. Despite sitting on top of the ice cap at an altitude of almost 10,000 feet, the station is maintained at a comfortable 20 degrees centigrade throughout the year. It hosts scientists from a whole range of disciplines and is home to two of the most powerful telescopes on Earth. As well as housing high-tech kit, the base provides a life support system for people to rest, work and play in relative comfort. This astonishing building is a triumph of technology and engineering and is as close to a space station as you can find anywhere on Earth. But a station this big needs support. Each summer, a convoy of tractors brings in supplies, traveling along a snow road nicknamed the McMurdo South Pole Highway, a journey that takes more than four weeks. The goods they bring will help sustain the base for the next six months. Not long after the convoy departs, the sun sets for the last time. The Antarctic winter has begun. A long, dark night that will last for months. It's in the polar winter that the comfort and safety of the South Pole Station really comes into its own. Though the peak of research activity is in the summer, the station functions all the year round with a skeleton crew of 50 people who spend the whole winter here. They have risen to the challenge of making a habitable environment in one of the most inhospitable places on Earth with a surprising installation, a greenhouse. Here, fresh fruit and vegetables are grown under artificial lights while the rest of the continent is in darkness. Regulations prevent soil from being imported to the Antarctic, so the vegetables are grown using a system of hydroponics. Their roots are held directly in contact with water loaded with nutrients. Inside here, it's a comfortable uh, 25 degrees Celsius. Relative humidity is about uh, 55%. Um, outside, uh, the temperature will be at least negative 30 degrees Celsius, and as the winter really starts to get going, it'll get as, as far down as negative 80 degrees Celsius. So it's, uh, it's pretty cold outside. And uh, this will be uh, uh, the brightest environment one can find in Antarctica. This greenhouse is so high-tech that the team can control the amount of food and light the plants receive from the comfort of their office in the University of Arizona. 